Then I start to smile, she said, and this is the program, talk to the camera. See the camera then at the streets of Freetown. As Freetown, they celebrate the 230 years. Forget the views of people waiting and think about the 230 years where Freetown they celebrate. And also, us area, the one for call on the Freetown City Mayor, in attention on. You see back to this, after so many years, one of his kind of at his way out, a woman of something, one of man of one of his kind. Hello, welcome to this interview. Name? Me, Mohamed Bongua. Okay, as you, this, as you stay free town and today, free town, they celebrate the 230 years. I go one follow you, tell viewers how you feel. Well, I'm glad you're over my country, but I got a celebration, yeah. I feel happy as a citizen, as a true Sigalonian. I feel happy over this celebration. So, who's here you go on for call on the Freetown City um, Council Mayor in attention to? Well, I go live for call the attention of the mayor for the developed our area on our governmental community. Okay, so, like, who's type development where you go on for let do they? In the first place, we get fire incidents in our community, but up to now, we don't see help from nobody yet. But we still they look on to government for the help to the community. Okay. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Sir. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name? Me, Nabob Sinsi. Okay. And as you know, say, I'm Freetown that celebrates the 230 years. I go want to let you tell viewers, first of all, how you feel as you live in Freetown. Um, I feel great and this is not an opportunity where some of we colleagues are not able to witness now a day where everybody they are in for witness. As a Bretonian, I think say on 230 years, not to 230 days, it go a long way. As some of we not been born at that time, of course me mama or me papa not been born me yet, or not even born yet self. Or so, for can witness then kind of celebration and a plus to me, a plus to the nation as well. As Freetown, the 230 years, what area you go one for call on the Freetown City Council mayor in attention to? I think according to we mama and the city mother of this municipality, I go and do our attention more on sanitation aspects. Of course, you can see the streets of Freetown. Though it do well, you don't buy a lot of tricycle for see that this Freetown, this municipality gets in face look. And at the same time, I want to pay attention to the slum areas. Of course, you get a lot for do. I want to let you just go there, if possible, work with the central government for relocate or modernize the, the, the slum areas. So, what's the message where you go on for art or what you don't say so? Well, I want to tell the, the mayor of Freetown, Boku Boku Tenki, and also the government of Sierra Leone, for giving this platform and give the, the, gov uh, the local government the platform for let the mayor able to work freely. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name? Goma Hassan Kamara. I mean, the Information, Education, and Communication Officer for the Freetown City Council. Okay, and as we see today, Freetown, they celebrate the 230 years. I go on for let you tell viewers, what are going to happen right now? Where will they celebrate 230 years? And the celebration that's where they reflect back on the history of Freetown, you know, taking into consideration the slave trade, the black pearls, and so many other things. But this particular around, this particular time around, we want for CSA, all the tribes they come together, the history matters, as you can see, these are the match pass they go on now, different tribes them. Tomorrow we get forget our reflection night. If reflection, they all they, like reflect on the, the challenges that we don't get in terms of disaster, the moss light, the fire accidents. Ebola and every other thing. And by, by Saturday, we also get uh, street parties now with different words them. And after that, we get a grand parade when on Sunday, when the match pass. We get into a fete as well, we are with the peace, Muslims and Christians together. Thank you very much. Welcome. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name? Duba. As, as free time they celebrate the 230 years, how you feel as Sierra Leonean? We are so excited, we're so glad 
because as a nation, for that we are able to see 230 years that he for that we celebrate. We're so happy. Okay. So we see you serve the part of the match pass. So whose tribe you belong? Me and Limba tribe I belong. Okay. So whose area you go on for call on the Freetown City Council Mayor for a attention on? Well, we they call on the mayor for help we in uh, the cleaning, uh, in health and sanitation. We know so when the city clean, we will get so many people there for come inside for invest. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name? My name is Marvel Morenike Spring. Okay, and as we see, say um today, Freetown the celebrate that 230 years and as a Creole descendant, I go one for the tell viewers. What in this actually mean? Well, the history of, of the Creoles starts with when they, they, they repatriate the slaves because you know we get slavery in West Africa in those days since 17 something or the other. So the, the ten come, they say no more slavery. All slaves for be free in America, in England, everywhere in the world, in the West Indies. So the powers that be that ten they say okay, then for firm place for put them. Since they come out Africa, then for go back to Africa. And this west coast of Africa was the place where, where they take a lot of the slaves and for go. Centuries passed and they say, okay, for bring them come back after the abolition of, of slavery. So now they found freedom. They call them um, province of freedom. In other words, anybody who set foot in na, na freedom, na that tell they not in freedom, in a province of freedom. Any, anybody who set foot there is free. So now that tended now, 230 years ago, they found Freetown and they repatriate a lot of slaves from America, from the West Indies, that is Jamaica and so on. Then later on the Nova Scotians. Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia is in um, Canada. And then there were some already in England and places like that. The Nova Scotians were already free. But during the American War of Independence, where then they tried, because America itself had been colony to Britain. So the, you know, the black people, because they, 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 in the British, they had been the rule, they promised, say, if they, if, they, if they win the war, all the black people then, they go, they go free them. But unfortunately, the Americans win the war. They win their independence from Britain. So the, the one day with the black people who are there, the slaves, they find that very difficult. So they get for escape to Nova Scotia because they be want to re-enslave them back. So they escaped to, to, to Nova Scotia in Canada. But Canada was a very, very cold, very, very cold. A lot of them perished, they died. So the one that we left now, led by a gentleman named Thomas Peters. Now I try to say he reached England. I go make a plea. Say he not go right for let them did it. Let them save can Africa. So now so they take our Africa. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as we don't they see um ears upon ears, most of the males them are where they take over the city in Akrios them. So what in actually Freetown gets for both stuff? Well, we can get for most of, of being the, 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 the settlement of the freed slaves who were like, you know, the, the British now they, now they found free time for them, particularly for them. So they found free time, they bought a lot of land around like the Kingdom area, you know, to, from a, a, a ruler then named King Tom. And they bought um, Nimbana area from somebody called, a chief called Chief Naimbana, and so on and so on. So they made this settlement here. So now, now really and truly, now the freed slaves, that they mean get free town, and then they found them for, and then they make them for. Although the indigenous people were there, but still, the British paid money for land, for making the, the, the colony settle. So that was it. So when they begin the municipality of free town, you know, we are under British, so everything was imitated in the British way. They said get municipality, they get in big towns, capital city, where the mayors, then they are the head. 
So now, so we take now, now kill them in the day. I mean, you know, now then they bring can. And they were educated to some extent and all that. So that they begin to become uh, males because by election, by whatever that they mean, so this until later, you know. So it was specifically founded for the freed slaves who be later became Creoles. Okay. So, like, what are the, some of the areas that were founded for the freed slaves? Who be later became Creoles. Okay. So, like, what are the, some of the areas that were where you go? Creoles. Okay. So, like, what are the, some of the areas that were where you go? Are some of the area okay. so like what are some of the areas them where you go Creels. Okay. Him Creels. Okay. Him Creels. Okay. Him Creels. Okay. Creoles. Okay. 